The Harem King is back. High School DxD is back for a fourth season titled High School DxD Hero, and the best place to catch it is on Verve from Crunchyroll. Link in the description. You will be able to catch your subs from Crunchyroll and the Funimation Cyber Dub. Now, for one membership cost in one app. It's an excellent deal. I'll leave a link. All right, let's get into this High School DxD Episode 3 review. Episode starts out with the Occult Research Club fighting some guy with some kind of Longinus sacred gear. But the flashback gets inter interrupted and it shows Issei and Asia doing some training. Episode 3 is called The Party of Heroes. And once again it shows them doing the Occult Research Club members doing some more sightseeing in Kyoto. There are some truly touching moments with Issei and Asia, of course, as the pictures show. And of course, Matsuda and Motohama are excellent as part of comic relief. And there were some really humorous moments with Zenobia, of all people, as well. Something about the silver and gold shrines. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'd love to visit Kyoto just once. But getting back to the story, they get summoned by Azazel to meet with him and Sarah Fall, and apparently the leader of the Kyoto Yokai, whose name is Kuno. Well, she's actually the daughter of the leader of the Kyoto Yokai, a nine-tailed fox named Yasaka. That's her. And of course, Issei being Issei has his own little perverted daydream about said nine-tailed fox, but they go on about their business. Asia goes to Issei's room to catch up, or play or whatever, and we get a rather touching moment between Issei and Asia again when Matsu and Motohama try to catch him. But when Zenobia shows up, Asia pulls a Hinata. <laughs> Maybe she fainted. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ross Faisa is trying to catch Issei while Issei is having some fun with Irina, Zenobia, and Asia. Yeah, those guys deserve what they got. I just find it hilarious that they're using Irina's halo as light. But to see Issei have, get to uh, have a little fun with Irina as well, it was a lot of, it was rather enjoyable. Once again, there were some rather fun moments with the group sightseeing again throughout the rest of the, throughout this episode, and Kuno actually agreed to be their tour guide now. Issei mentions how he fails to make a move when it counts, but truth be told, I think it's showing a lot of character development with him. Now, of course, you get a lot more humor with Matata and Motohama. And oddly enough, I could kill you as well. Although, I must say, I'm not really that fond of their new design and its art style. You get to see a lot more of Kyoto with Kuno showing him around. It just shows how beautiful a city it is, and one that, because again, I would love to see myself one of these days. Hope that will before I die. And Kuno is showing them all the great sights. I'll just let y'all take in some of these pictures for the time being, because the action is going to pick up later on in the episode. I'll just let you enjoy the pictures. Now 
there they are meeting up with Kiba. Oh no, this is a hilarious moment with Azazel and Ross Faisa. Here's Azazel's having himself a drink in the middle of the day. And get this, Ross Faisa, even though she came from Asgard, is a total lightweight. One drink and she was plastered. <laughs> oh lord. I cannot wait to see how they do this one in the dub. Because Funimation has really upped their game. Here they are on this bridge in Kyoto, which actually reminds me of an episode of Rebroni Kenshin. More I'll uh, discuss that in another video sometime in the, near future, in the future. And this is where things start picking up. They're instantly transported into some kind of pocket dimension. And Kiva winds up with them. As well as Azazel. This winds up being the power of a Longinus class sacred gear called Dimension Lost. And we finally get to see the hero faction of the sacred of the uh, Chaos Brigade. And this guy, the holder of the spear that we saw in the earlier episode. We have yet to figure out who this guy what this guy's name is, although if you read the light novel, you probably already know. But he managed to blast right through his able barriers. Yeah, this guy is going to be tough to deal with. But, we finally get to see the leader of the hero faction of the Chaos Brigade. It looks like things are starting to pick up, folks, in High School DxD Season 4. I'm looking forward to seeing how this all ends up. And as always, keep on being awesome. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you when I see you.